Oh, that's right. Teddy, Fat Goku, under his webcam. But uh, Teddy will probably fix that in a second. Alright, there it is. Did Teddy strike Yoshi's? Yeah, I guess Teddy... No. Yeah, I guess Teddy strike Yoshi's. I didn't see who won RPS, so... Yeah, I didn't see either. But just from looking at the stage strikes, I feel like... I think Teddy won the RPS. Or Teddy strike Yoshi's. Which, I don't know, I don't really like. I guess my no, kids at least. I don't know, it's again, it's weird that they went to this stage. Yeah, I'm not sure if Teddy would have agreed to Battlefield. I'll ask him after the set. Because this, like, this is a pretty well-known Peach counterpick to Spacey's. Yeah, the thing about this stage is um, if Peach doesn't get the chain grabs or the grabs, it's mm -hmm. so good for Fox. Like, it's fantastic. But yeah. once Peach starts getting those grabs, it becomes real bad. Because it should be a zero death every time. So what if Fox, like, what does Fox have, have over Peach on this stage without her chain grabs? Okay, so the stage is really long, and uh, my case really <laughs> likes the laser. And you know, the bigger stage, the better it is for lasers. Mm -hmm. Also, the ceiling is actually quite low on on uh, FD. It's not as low as Yoshi's or Stadium, but I think it's the third lowest. Oh man, that was strange. Yeah, the people do die relatively low percentages here. Yeah. I do notice that Jigglypuffs like to avoid this stage. Yeah, that, those are basically the main two reasons. Also, if you die her throw, she can't get, like, tons. She can't do, like, the uh, up around the platform thing that you see on other stages. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's really nice for Peach on this stage is uh, when Fox is recovering, if he goes under the stage, like, he can't go onto any platforms to trick her up. He has to go to the edge or... Or he has to risk just getting hit right back off. Teddy, I don't know, I think he's showing my case that maybe he shouldn't uh, pick the stage. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think I think, uh, oh, I think he has a pretty clear advantage on this stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, not as Peach, but as Blade-wise. Yeah. He's pretty uh, pretty good at the chain grab. I think for my case, I would prefer Dreamland. It's really large. So you um you get a lot of light, well, uh, a lot of room to run around and blazer. Also, the platforms are really nice for recovering on. the The top, uh, yeah, the top blossom is like super high. It's hard to kill her, but you know there are strengths and disadvantages to most stages. It's upstadium. Last time I played Teddy, I uh, I played really campy, and I was like, "So what, I remember do you, that. what do you do against that?" And he was like, "Well, every time I hit you, I just have to kill you." <laughs> and, and that's FD, simple, huh? Yeah, oh, that's all you have to do. So easy. <laughs> but on FD, that becomes a lot easier, I think. Yeah. Well, it's because you have like a very clear cut, like you have like a, an instruction book yeah, to follow. Much. It's just the flow chart FD. that you follow, yeah. and uh, Fox dies. So it's one stock to one stock. This could definitely go either way. Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, like, say, okay. So this happened. So now. Okay. I think. Nope. Oh wow. He misses it. The the chain grab with Peach, I think, is pretty hard. This should be it though. Oh. The nair doesn't get it. The hitbox doesn't reach it that low. I said it once. I said it again. My case is really good at recovering. Yeah. Like one of the best foxes at it that I've played at least. Only second to like Silent Wolf, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yep. So that's a big deal, getting beats uh, on your stage. Yeah, that's really good for Mike. Um, like, let's say he loses this. He has Stadium, and he has like Yoshi's. Yeah, so and now and like and like kind of technically he has this stage too. He's like, well, you know, I know that yeah, I can do yeah, it on this stage. Yeah, he just won on this stage, though. Yeah. He's definitely not like, oh, I'm going to lose this and win on Stadium. Like, no, he could definitely just win again and be up to a... Yeah. Last set they played, uh, you know, Winner's Finals of this tournament. Teddy was up to a winning on this stage and uh, Stadium. But then he lost two games in a row to Stadium and Fountain. So I think Mike Hayes, he picked something up. 
He didn't win that set, but I think he started adapting to Teddy a bit better. I love the wave shine up tilt on uh, Peach so much. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's really good. I mean, it looks cool too. It, yeah, it looks cool. It combos really well. I love up tilt. I think it's my favorite move. Kind of is kind of in trouble right now. He's taking a few too many lasers. And he's down yeah. a stock. There we go. Yeah, whenever I see matchups like this on uh, say, on FD, like, well, you know, 20% plus a grab could potentially be the stock. Yeah. So Teddy's definitely not in, like, a terrible position. Like, we saw my set with Mike Hayes. I was down a lot, but I could bring it back to a certain extent at least. Just the punish game is so strong nowadays. You can't get away with making mistakes anymore. You just die. Oh wow! Oh, Such a I fat combo. Em. I love those. I love it. I love cool combos on FD that aren't just chain grabs. Because sometimes chain grabs get a bit old. Oh, this should be. This. Oh wow! Oh, I was like, really expecting a nair out of shield right there. <laughs> wow, creative. I don't think Teddy uh, goes for the Nair on Shield too much. Usually he prefers the Parasol. But if you uh, can predict that and shield it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, now Mike has it. Okay. Oh, uh, he's being lame with it. He's just. Like, if you have it, you probably should just throw it. But yeah. It's so lame. Like, come on. It's a Beam Sword. Swing it around. Oh, my. That just gets rid of it. Come on. Oh, uh, come on. Like, if you're watching this, shame. He's playing to win, though. And yeah. you can't you can't blame someone for playing to win. No, especially with a prize like this. Yeah. 133 entrants. It's yeah. Like, well, I mean, 133 entrants, there's, you know, there's all the uh, the buy-in money. Yeah. And then there's the big prize. Uh, cookies, brownies, <laughs> and uh, what are these? Mon money buddies. Just, just cookies and brownies and whatever else. <laughs> Dude, money buddies are so good. Have you had some? <laughs> oh no. Dude. And I, all those things in the pool? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, okay. It's like Chex Mix, chocolate, peanut butter. Ooh. So good. So, I think I do like the stage a bit more. I don't know, if you lose on a stage twice, I think it's so bad to keep going back to it. You know, try something else. Try to get... Yeah, I definitely. Play. I mean, like, if for nothing else, change up the momentum. For sure. Right there, man. He's, he's just... Wow. He has ha he has so many great narrow to shield opportunities, and he's just not taking them. And yeah. th this is looking to be, like, a really clean first set. Yeah, narrow to shield can be really risky sometimes. I think Teddy's, like, pretty good at holding his shield. When most players would do, like, a panic roller or a panic, like, full hop, he'll just keep holding it and, you know, bait you to do something stupid. See, like, right there, like, it, Mike jumped out of shield. All he had to do was jump up with an air, and that was that would have been it for a stock. Yeah. Uh, when you see, when you start seeing down slashes like that, you start to get worried for the Peach. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't see too many more of those, like, man, I hope this down smash works down smash. Yeah, I mean, Mike Hayes is really moving right now. He's got his, he's got his movement down. He's playing well. Yeah. I'm not sure where he's going for that up smash. Teddy, Teddy really needs to get something going here. I think he needs, needs to start working on his gimp game, maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think like I think just um, it just my case is so fast oh, and so furious that right so now good. that he needs to start working on stuff like that. So the only reason he got that stock. It's because Blade White super hard red Mike full hopping. Hit him with the fair, hit him off stage, and just got the clean, easy edge guard. Mm -hmm. So, really nice read by Teddy, getting a stock from that. Alright, he got some down smashes. Oh, he was... Okay, no up throw. I'm not sure what I think about down throw. I, like, never see it work, but I see a lot of people do it. So I'm like, it has to be good at sometimes, right? Right. Yeah, well, I mean, it's got a crap ton of stun on it. Yeah. Like, you get hit by it, you're going to be floating there for a while. I, re I really like it against Puff. 
I guess Peach, I, I haven't gotten it to work out yet, but maybe I should try a bit more into friendlies. Okay, no jump. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like Teddy isn't super good at Gimpy. It could also be that Mike is just like really smart at recovering. But that was just a flip by Teddy. For sure. Yeah, the well, thing is, like a lot of the things I see work on most foxes are just not working on Mike. He's so good at recovering. But the thing is, is uh, oh god. Oh please. <laughs> Auto that would have been amazing. Silent Wolf, uh, definitely the person blade wise is like top competition. Mm -hmm. He's super good at recovering. Like try edge guarding that guy. It's so hard. Unless you're like Leffen or Mata or something, but right. it's so hard. It's so good. Alright, so Teddy has to win two matches in a row on on a stadium now, which it's really rough. He won one last set though. He did. And you know, it actually was kind of the reverse last time. I think <sighs> Actually it went back and forth. It was Teddy it was up to a then Mike Hayes won two in a row. Oh, that's then right. Teddy clutched it out. That's right, that's right. So then it was with uh, me and eBay. So right now, we're just coming off of Teddy's first win. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking rough for him. <laughs> Alright. There we go. I was thinking he was going to like reverse back air into float and air. I'm not sure if he had his float, though. When did he lose that first stock? Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I, I don't remember, remember either. I, I don't remember at all. I remember him losing it. Ah, uh, jab of smash, so good. And this is looking like it's going to go to a second set very fast. Yeah, this is not looking good for the Pacific Northwest hero. <laughs> Man, it's just... <laughs> I was thinking, oh, like, it's, it's oh no, it's kind of ridiculous how the skill levels oh, in the Northwest no. work, because you go from like kind of even to like a bigger gap with people, and then you get to like you and eggs, and then up above is blade wise, and then way up there is auto. Yeah. And it just like, like auto is way better than everyone. Then yeah. Teddy is like a lot is like a bit worse than auto, but still way better than everyone else. Yeah. And then there's like seven people who are all like pretty close. I don't want to call too soon, but I think Teddy needs to start thinking about some of the things he needs to do next set differently. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think that's good for Teddy at least. Yeah, it's good for Teddy. I mean, like, I think honestly, going to a second set is probably good for him too, just because he's going to get more time to do the download. For sure. I think my case might be adapting a bit better than Teddy though. Yeah, well, I mean, like, he adapted really quick uh, considering how close their last set was. Yeah. Oh! Alright. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. I should have been a free edge guard. Yeah, and I'm definitely seeing a lot of flubs from Bladewise right now. Just some things he definitely meant to edge guard and didn't. I should. Okay, that's it. Alright, 55%. It's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Taking one of this stage, you know, he can win again. I think Mike is definitely going to counterpick back here. I think it's easily Ooh. Oh, Ooh. That's, that's so good. He needed that up air. Up air again. I didn't think he could actually do anything off that. But I wasn't a huge fan of that forward air. I think a nair would have been better. The hitbox lasts a little longer. It comes out a bit faster. Suddenly this is dangerous. So let's go either way. Just one, one win control. Edge? No. Teddy he really took a gamble there. Teddy agreed with me. That was 50-50 with a windmill. Yes! I mean, well done. Good, good uh, match. Alright, that's 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> this is where Bladewise really wants to close it out. Yeah. For me, I, if Mike wins, I can be like, oh, I lost to the guy who won twice. Right. So, <laughs> this looks better for me. <laughs> But you know, I got I got a cheer for my Northwest brother. Man, Teddy's done so much that last game, and I was like, oh, he should think about the next set. 
then he was like, yeah, and then he's like, you're dumb. Just, I'm just gonna win this set. <laughs> Why would I play another set? Why would I play another one when I can just win this one? Yeah, it's 2 a.m. I don't want to play another set. It is 2 a.m. too. <laughs> it's just about oh, stitchy. Got a stitcher. I feel like there have been so many stitch faces. There have been a lot. Just a ridiculous amount. Oh man. Dude, there's been stitches, there's been beam swords, multiple beam swords actually. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Hi Reddit. Uh, you, what? Wow, that was that was such a good play. You don't see that happen a lot to high level peaches. You don't see that stitch get yeah, reflected you have, back. You have to hard read it so like so much. Yeah. And usually peaches are really good about like knowing when they think it's gonna happen and like playing with your expectations. But at that at that point my my cage just not played them straight up. Nope. Good edge guard, force him into a corner, didn't let him out. Yeah, I think with Peach you just need a back air like seventy times. That's the edge guard. Oh yeah, to the edge guard? Yeah. Alright. Parasol got him out of pressure, didn't get much off of it. I don't really think it's a good combo server though, so... And I don't really like how Teddy is like really trying to put on pressure right now, because that's exactly what Mike is wanting. He's hitting the, shooting out those lasers and saying, come on over here. Yeah, for sure. Maybe... I'm not too sure. Okay. Oh, horrible DI. I think he thought he was going to up throw. <sighs> And so he DI'd trying to do that up, like trying to get out of the up throw up. But instead, he just almost died to the left board. Okay. Right now, Teddy definitely swinging. Alright. Teddy needs something going immediately. A grab, a, a down smash, something. It's hard for Peach because right now, well, right now she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> but before that, when she was at like 60, she can't really crouch get to this anymore. Which takes out like a really good comeback. It's like, no. It's like yeah, if you do going. a dumb nair at like thirty percent on a peach, she's gonna get like fifty percent on you. But once you're at a certain percent as peach, that just goes away. Which is why percents matter, commentators. Stop saying percents don't matter. <laughs> All right, going back to FD. I guess they both like FD and. Uh, I know, I think maybe, like, Bladewise wants to, like, a do-over kind of thing. It's like, ah, I really should have won on this stage. And he threw him to the side there instead of up. That was definitely not what he yeah, intended. Yeah, I think that was definitely a mistake. Well, we'll see if my case can play perfectly enough to never get hit. And if Teddy can get hits and just take the stock every time. Man, my, he is using a lot more lasers than he was in the first set. Yeah, I wonder if that might bite him. If he plays too passive, he might give up more uh, stage control. Which could give Teddy a better position. One thing is, Teddy has rushed over a number of times when Mike was using oh, wow. lasers. And it's never worked out that well for Teddy. I mean, he's gotten you know this and that off of it, not a lot of stuff. But uh -huh. usually it ends up uh, either resetting to neutral. Yeah. It seems like right now it's just resetting to neutral. Mike's really good at lasering though. And there's like a time that you need to stop lasering once they're at a certain position <coughs> on the screen, or else you give up too much center stage control. Yeah, I mean, like personally, I would like to stop lasering at a certain percent, just because that means that uh, you know, past past that percent, I can't do a grab combo on them. <laughs> oh, good smash throw. I love Peach's four tilt, so far. Nice. Oh, good tech chase. Gets the grab. Let's see what he can get off of it. Hopefully. Go. I keep, like, thinking to myself where Mike's gonna go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time, Teddy's agreeing with me. And then Mike is just like, doesn't. He just doesn't go there. He, <laughs> he goes a go different there. way. But you know, he's tricking me and Teddy a lot of the time. And you know, I'm just sitting behind, you know, I'm just sitting on a chair chilling out, so. <laughs> I don't have any pressure, I'm not in great violence. Oh! That was a good conversion. Yeah.
Wow. He popped back up on the stage there. I wonder if that was just excellent smash DI. Because that was so that was so good. I don't think I've seen that. At least not very often. Yeah, it's not something that's uh, very common to see. For sure. I've seen it a few times here in that man. Yeah, Bluff Smash. So good. He, so did, cool. he just really chases him across the stage. He doesn't let him go at all. I like uh, Mike's play right now. He doesn't. I don't think he's fishing for the jabs a ton. I think that's an issue with my play. And if you keep fishing for them too much, even at pretty high percents, uh, Peach can just crouch cancel and get so much off of it. If you throw them out at dumb times than they expect it. But Mike, pretty good about not doing that right now. These are going to be long matches. It's last stock on FD. When it's last stock on FD, I'm lasering so much. Cause, you know, one thing and you lose the game. Like, mm -hmm. One little minor mistake. Alright. Teddy stuffs out the approach. Oh no, that's game! Dang, man. He's doing really good. He's gotten, it seems like he's got to figure it out, actually. Yeah. Mike Hayes doing a lot of adapting from the first two games in the winner's home, so... Alright. Teddy just going to Fountain straight away, which I like. Yeah, I know, like, I think at this point he's like, okay, it's really not about the stage, it's about, it's about, you know, the mind games, it's about the play. Like, he lost, he lost on FD three times now in the uh, Grand Finals, and at that point, you know, you might just want to give it up, just... Take him somewhere else. Oh my god! Wow, Mike just makes it back. Uh, that's the Palacio. Quite unfortunate. Mm -hmm. He was at like 90% though, so it's not like tragic. That's how I look at it, at least. And he's really forcing him to roll a lot. Not the air dead smash. Alright. Mess up the tech chase. Whoa! Good chase. Alright, so that's uh, one down. That was good. I wonder if that was just a super hard read. I want to go back and make watch that in slow uh, Nice edge guard by... He took that talk, uh, that talk really fast and really cleanly. Oh. Am I getting a grounded shine, which is what you want, but it is a full hop after it, instead of a wave shine and the whatever he wants. But I, I guess there we sometimes go. you don't think a shine's gonna hit. So you just wanna do like shine full hot pressure. Which I think is what Mike wanted to do. He's the next to shine to hit. And so now, now we're seeing Teddy like go down more. Maybe he just wasn't comfortable with like trying to predict the way my case was going to recover before. Yeah, he's going a lot deeper with these uh, edge guards. And they're working. So I wonder if Mike Hayes is gonna start um, like reacting to that. Hmm. They're changing his recoveries up more. And then we'll see if Teddy can adapt again. Let's give up adapting. But that's it's looking looking quite nice for the Northwest hero. There we go. Straight. Oh, I got one. Teddy did two. That one was uh, that one's pretty convincing actually. Um, well, especially the second half of that. Well, that was a good match. Seem, it seemed seemed like Bladewise. Yeah, it seemed like Bladewise really found something out in the second half of that match. All right, this game is so important. This game is what? This game is super important. Both oh. players want to win this game so bad. Yeah. So right now it's basically a best of three. Yeah. Well, like yeah. See, like in the best of three, you lose once. Okay, you're behind in counter picks, but you can get it back in the best of five. Absolutely. Like, really playing this, uh, Red Gun game. Oh, it didn't work out too well, though. Alright, go deep. He has a jump. Aw. Oh, really, really nice. Oh, I thought I say. And he can't sit there and take that. He's got to go in at some uh, sometime. Yeah. Mike's mindset right now is, well, I have lasers, <laughs> they're really fast, and they go really far, so I'm going to make him come at me. And once you start approaching the other player, you have a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you're always at a disadvantage when approaching the other player. Also, also you get 7%, which is nice. Let's see if my can do anything with that percent though. Back throw. Oh. Teddy reacting a bit too slow. I think this Peach is, and also Peach is really bad at re-grabbing the ledge, so once she grabs it, she has to come up with a plan to get on without dying instantly. Yeah, once Peach grabs the edge, like what, what is she supposed to do to get off it? Like roll? Like ledge dash? You can't ledge dash. You can't, le you can't ledge on the Peach, you can't re-grab. You can, like, but it's slow and you'll probably just get punished. Slow, yeah. yeah. Her her second jump just takes way too long. That's why going to the edge is usually a last a last resort. You usually only pick the edge when it's well, do I wanna die? Or get the edge. Oh, missed attack, got the there. Alright. Teddy's up a clean sock. Looking pretty good, but it is Yoshi's. Or it is Stadium. Yeah, so it's stadium. Not, there's a no, low not, ceiling. Not yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's they're a both sock stages. It's the same thing. Yeah. Not, not really. Not at all. They're, they're, they're basically the same stage. <laughs> I've heard many of Floaties complain about that, actually. No ban Yoshi's, and they'll get mad that I picked Stadium. <laughs> the Stadium just gets picked in general. I'm like, oh, man, yeah. sorry, I'm going to tell you. Ban Illegal Mon Stadium. Illegal Stadium. Illegal Mon. <laughs> And that could have been an... Oh, oh yep. wow. All right, he finishes it anyway. That's insane. It's so hard to get the, the up throw up on Peach. Like, you see Leffen do, and you're like, oh, you know, that looks like a basic tech, but you have to be so fast. Yeah, it's so it's so funny how many things the best players do that you just take for granted as just, you know, yeah. a regular advanced player kind of a thing. Yeah. But it's like, no, it's actually hard. And uh, my case brought this back after beating down full stock. Just not making very many mistakes. It's really, it's really the matchup. The Peach kind of has to rely on the Fox messing up in order to lose. Which is why I think Armada doesn't want to play the matchup anymore. All right, Teddy gets the edge guard. Boom. All right. Some this, intense stuff. This is tournament point for Blade right now. It's gonna go back to Stadium, I'm sure. He was, oh my, he has to close this out. Go back, yep, go back to stadium. Mike just playing really patient, shooting blazers. He knows he's one game away from losing. Oh wow! <laughs> the up sound came out from Peach, but the actual hitbox didn't. Mike yeah. just grabbed it. Kinda like what happened to Marth. Uh, Mike seems to be pretty much all over Blade Wise. He doesn't want to give him any room to breathe right now. He doesn't even want him to get anything started. Which is what's, go what's going on. That's why he's uh, really put on the pressure. He is leaning back a little bit more now because he's got the damage. He's a little bit safer. I'm really I'm really curious what uh, Blade Wise is going to pick next game. He could go uh, Dreamland. But that would give Mike Hayes a lot of room to uh, run around and shoot lasers. Which has been Mike Hay Mike Hayes' uh, plan for this game, at least. Or he could go Yoshi's, which is generally a Fox Age, but Ooh. there's almost no room to run around with laser. Wow. That was really good. It's really dominant for Mike Hayes uh, this game. So. Yeah, he really turned it up. He knows that this could be the last chance. Yeah. I hope even if Blade Wise loses this game, though, he realizes, you know, I have another game. It's even my counter pick. Like, you know, even if he gets forced like that, it's not over. Oh man, this is looking rough. It's looking, this is looking like it's gonna be a game five in the Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Fountain. Uh, he can't go back to Fountain, he's running. And the thing though was, it wasn't looking that bad at all at first. Like, he just won on this stage. I think, did every set, I think Mike won on, F on Stadium. Did Teddy, um, <laughs> uh, Teddy just kills himself after he, yeah. after he gets the one stock. Doesn't want to get four stock. I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea, but I mean, I don't know. He's at sixty-two percent or something. Uh, it's real hard. 
You can also go Battlefield, which is kind of like a mix between Dreamland and Yoshi's. Uh, I'm not sure oh, yeah, yeah. I actually heard about that. What? I heard that. What was it you said? Oh, I said you could go to uh, Battlefield, which is kind of like a mix between Yoshi and Dreamland, in a sense. In right. terms of, like, size and bustles. <laughs> <laughs> Mike strikes Battlefield and best of five. <laughs> <laughs> This is a tough decision. There, I, I definitely don't think there's any obvious answer. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. You know, I don't agree. You definitely make it work, but... I don't know, you lost three times in, in the Grand Finals with it. Yeah, like... What's changed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, maybe he thought that he figured something out. Maybe he did. I think he could have maybe dropped down with a Nair and uh, traded and then like got popped back up. But if you miss, you just die, so. I can understand him not wanting to do that in game 5 or if he wants that too. And an up air. Not gonna up do it, but. I think it was my case with those lasers again. Yeah, at this point, like, they're not a huge deal. Oh, that's not the ledge dash, but he's at 120. This oh, is where I you think, capitalize. I think Mike is only really ledge dashing when it's, like, not that big of a deal if he dies, you know. He's at these really high percents, kill percents. But, you know, if you die, you're like, well, one hit and I was gonna die anyway. I'm very, yeah. Uh, hype, that is. No one can hear that you asked that question, yeah. so I sounded weird. Yeah, someone asked if we were hype. Three socks, three socks. Uh, it's like, okay, it's it's like probably 2 a.m., and I actually haven't oh slept. My God, oh my god, up air was so good! Oh, uh, uh. reverse back air, though. Um, so my case did that a couple times against me. I think that was a flame that time. Probably every other time. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Mike, you're jumping off the stage. It's definitely something you never want to do. So maybe Teddy did figure something out. Say that again? Maybe Teddy did figure something out. Maybe he figures, if my case is going to lose a bunch anyway, I at least want to do, I at least want to play him on FD. That way the punishes are, you know, a lot easier. A lot more yeah, that's a good point. Like, okay, yeah, shoot me with your lasers, but when I grab you, it's gonna be over. Exactly. Hopefully. Like, like if you shoot me with 30 lasers, but if I grab you once, you know, I win the song. Yeah. Whew. Looking good. Oh, Looking wow. so good right now. Alright, three socks to one. This My case is gonna have to find something deep inside of him. Yeah. He has I... made... Oh, well, he, he made a comeback early this set about this big, so... Yeah. Definitely not gonna count him out. And, like, I feel with high-level players, it's kind of a roll of the dice in these situations. It's like... One downloads the other, then one downloads the other, then just like keep going around, around in circles, downloading each other yeah, until like, they run out of matches to play. Just, who can adapt faster before our five or ten or games run out? Yeah. And who can adapt the last time? I always feel like it's predetermined because it just it'll go back and forth. It's like an eeny meeny miny mo, <laughs> and then it just it's like okay, we started on this one, which means we're gonna land on this one. So whoever oh, wow. whoever had the advantage in the beginning is the one that's gonna win. It's a great up air conversion by Mike, but he's off stage. This should be it. Yeah, that, that's it. That's that's game. Yeah. Congrats to Teddy. That's the blue one. Wow. <laughs> and a sports me hug. That was a really good match. Oh my god. Hey, uh, don't go hey Teddy. You want an interview? All right. Looks like Teddy right. is uh, Bladewise is down to interview. All right. I'll uh, let you do that later. Stream. Goodbye, Mofa. <laughs> See ya. Thanks for commentating Grand Finals. For sure.